From Izzy looking for new blood after his recent showdown, to Whittaker guaranteeing his victory in case of a rematch. Here's why Israel Adesanya vs Robert Whittaker 3 needs to happen. After his latest performance against Alex Pereira, all eyes are on Izzy. He's left the entire UFC community shook. Having gone up against his ultimate rival, the Poetan, three times, everyone thought this would be his fourth and not to mention quite humiliating defeat against Pereira. But going against all odds, the Stylebender snatched back his middleweight title in what was a brutal second round knockout. Even though the fight started off in favor of the Brazilian with those calf kicks and striking skills, Adesanya had been up against him thrice before. So he definitely picked up on a thing or two about his opponent's skills. As soon as Pereira started getting hasty with his attacks, Izzy saw his opportunity. Landing a beautiful counter right hand over the top, he followed that up with a right hand which besides taking Pereira out of the game, it knocked the living daylights out of the poor guy. Even though the 33 year olds comeback wasn't one many had predicted, it would be unfair to say that it wasn't expected. Ahead of one of the most highly anticipated bouts the UFC had seen, the guy had been training like crazy, documenting the final days of his training leading up to the rematch. Adesanya released a video showing him completing his toughest training camp yet. He was taking absolutely zero chances with the rematch. And although that paid off in his recent fight with his longtime rival, it's also going to show up in his next fight which will, fingers crossed, be against Robert Whittaker. The two have their own score to settle. Even after all that hassle to reclaim the title back, Izzy isn't slowing down. In fact, he's already up and ready for his next fight. The guy is on a high right now and is looking for his next victim. Who, dare I suggest, is Bobby Knuckles himself? The two have crossed paths twice before, once in 2019 at UFC 243 and then in 2022 at UFC 271. And being the Pereira in this rivalry, both matches ended with Adesanya as the winner. Meeting up for their first match in October 2019, back then, Australia's Whitaker was the undisputed middleweight champion. Izzy, on the other hand, held the division's interim title. The face-off was viewed as the biggest fight in the history of oceanic mixed martial arts. Not to mention, one of the very best fights at the time. The match did not disappoint. The two went back and forth with their attacks in the first round, and it looked like the fight was going to be competitive. Dropping his guard for a second, Whitaker received a hit to his nose, and Adesanya saw his chance to zero in. Although Whitaker tried to make a comeback by throwing in some solid hooks and kicks, Izzy remained unrattled. In the second round, Whitaker hit his target by swinging in for his opponent's chin, but it barely worked in his favor, as he played right into the final hook the New Zealander had planted for him. Losing his balance, the former middleweight champion lost his footing and fell back. And within seconds, Adesanya was on him, hammering down his right fist, and the fight was called to an end. Although the fight didn't really demand an urgent rematch, with time, Whitaker staked his claim to a do-over. The second fight didn't fare well for him either. Man should have just left it at one loss. Winning by unanimous decision, Adesanya held on to the middleweight title, although Whitaker was visibly unsatisfied with the judges. Seeing how the opening round played out, it looked like it was just going to be a repeat of their first match. Adesanya went in strong and hard, beginning the fight by switching stances and battering Whitaker's leg with various kicks. The stylebender nearly ended the fight then and there, as he dropped Whitaker with a solid left hand. But Whitaker quickly came to his senses and got back on his feet. He desperately attempted a flurry of takedowns to make a comeback, but Izzy was in his element and blocked them with ease. However, as the fight went on, the Reapers started to get into the rhythm of it. Gaining more control, he threw and connected with more precision, especially with the left hand. The Australian native also made use of his ground attack to try and put Adesanya down. But to his credit, Izzy quickly recovered from his attacks and made it back to his feet. Drawing to an end in the fifth round, it looked like the tables had been turned. While Adesanya stayed aggressive and on his feet, Whitaker looked strangely calm and content ready to counter whatever was thrown his way. Although this may seem like a good strategy, apparently it wasn't good enough for the judges to pry out the title from the last stylebender. Now that Izzy's already defeated Whitaker twice, how would a third fight be any different? Who's to say Izzy won't go home with the belt still clasped tightly around him? Well, if there's anything I've learned from the 33-year-old, it's persistence. Mans went up thrice against Pereira and lost, but he still had the guts to show up for a fourth fight? Well, it obviously paid off, because he managed to defeat the only man who put a blemish on his otherwise perfect record. Maybe Whitaker's aiming for the same result, 
Even though Izzy is considered one of the best pound-for-pound -pound MMA fighters in the world, former middleweight champion Robert Whittaker is a warrior in the octagon himself, known for his sharp jab and devastating left hook. The guy has a 25-6-0 record and stands in second place in the UFC middleweight rankings. Not to mention, he's been spending some extra time honing his skills. At first, he thought he'd put in enough work to defeat Izzy in the rematch, but promised to get back to training and fine-tune his skills even more. He also mentioned that he had nothing but respect for his opponent's skill set, and since he doesn't see him losing the belt to anyone anytime soon, he wants to be the person who brings him down. Since their last match in February 2022, both of them have evolved in their own ways. Izzy went up against Jared Cannonier, winning by unanimous decision. And do I even need to repeat myself? Alex Pereira, who he finally knocked out. The fact that he was able to make this comeback just shows Whitaker will have to be extra careful if he plans on reclaiming that title belt. But the Reaper is adamant on getting another shot at him, calling a third fight between himself and Izzy inevitable. I'm going to stomp everyone who comes in front of me again. That's why he said I'll be seeing you in the future. Yikes, strong choice of words. But here's the thing, an official fight is yet to be scheduled among the two. So for now, this is all just talk. And with Izzy entertaining offers from fighters like Drikus Duplessy, I'm going to be honest, I don't see the trilogy happening anytime soon. The New Zealander is already over the whole thing and says that the chapter's already been closed. He's mentioned before that although Whitaker's a great fighter, he already knows how the fight will end. It's way too predictable for his liking. What he's looking for now is fresh blood, someone he hasn't fought before. But to give you some hope, he hasn't really dismissed the possibility of a rematch either. And seeing how determined Whitaker is for a shot at the title fight, I'd say there's a solid chance he can make it happen. He's way too far in the game now, and the only way out is by getting that belt. He even compared his fights with Adesanya to those with Pereira, saying that if his opponents get to fight the Poetan four times, he deserved a chance at a third fight. It becomes more of an ego thing at this point wanting to prove that he's got what it takes no matter how many tries he has to put in. And Whitaker is 100% confident he's finally achieved what it takes to defeat the 33-year-old. If that's the case, we won't have to wait long to find out. But in the case of another rematch, who do the fans favor? Since nothing has been confirmed as yet, it's hard to pin either of the two as the winner. But seeing how well Izzy's been doing recently, it won't be surprising if he's favored instead of Whitaker, who's only been up against Marvin Vittori after the rematch. However, it seems like Vittori, who fought both Izzy and Whitaker, believes the latter is better than the former. When asked to choose between two of his former opponents, he picked Whitaker as the better middleweight. Either way, the last thing Izzy wants to do is to underestimate the 32-year-old. Although he's an impeccable striker, you never know how Whitaker's been honing his skills this past year. After all, he did give a 100% guarantee he'd be defeating the Stylebender. I say give him another chance, or three. So, from Whitaker guaranteeing his victory in case of a rematch, to Izzy being in the spotlight after his recent showdown and looking for new blood. This is why Israel Adesanya vs. Robert Whitaker 3 needs to happen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.